Hollywood couple Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis are facing backlash for writing character letters in support of Danny Masterson. The, the late, uh, that 70s show actor has been found guilty of raping two women in the early 2000s and is now sentenced to 30 years to life in prison. In 2020, Masterson was charged with three counts of rape by force or fear. There was no verdict reached on the third count of rape due to a hung jury. According to Huffington Post reporter Yashar Ali, the letters from Kutcher and Kunis uh, contained a significant amount of Scientological phrasing and were intended to undermine the victims who were allegedly drugged by Masterson. We are aware of the pain that has been caused by the character letters that we wrote on behalf of Danny Masterson. We support victims. We have done this historically through our work and will continue to do so in the future. A couple months ago, Danny's family reached out to us and they asked us to write character letters to represent the person that we knew for 25 years so that the judge could take that into full consideration relative to the sentencing. The letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system or the validity of the jury's ruling. They were intended for the judge to read um, and not to undermine the testimony of the victims or re-traumatize them in any way. We would never want to do that. And we're sorry if that has taken place. Our heart goes out to every single person who's ever been a victim of sexual assault, sexual abuse, or rape. Masterson was reportedly raised in the Church of Scientology and has been part of the church throughout his life. So, a number of things going on here. So, obviously, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis were both on That 70s Show with Danny Masterson, and they've received pushback for offering um, these, you know, letters of, of uh, character, character bill, to, to, which are an effort to persuade a judge to impose a more lenient sentence to take into other factors. Um, th there was some uh, discussion or claims made that he had you know, taken care of family members when their father was out of the picture, that sort of thing. Um, it didn't work. Uh, Masterson was sentenced to basically the very maximum he could have gotten, 30 years, for two separate um, charges of, of rape, of sexual assaults. Um, it is a, it's a very long sentence. Um, we were reflecting on that, which is not in any way uh, trying to uh, the obviously the accusation, which was he was convicted on, is extremely serious, and uh, I, I think everyone accepts that it's very serious. It is it is an awful lot of prison time. And yeah, we were just comparing it to. I, I just thought of R. Kelly to see what the like a standard mm -hmm. compare was. He got twenty years. You opined that maybe it wasn't because our uh, because R. Kelly settled. Er, pled out instead of going to trial, but it seems like he also yeah. went to trial. And in His that case, there people, was a lot more. And there, yeah, there, I mean, there was the was underage, underage aspect of it and yeah, child pornography aspect of it as well. Um, it does, uh, his uh, Masterson's attorneys uh, argued for the two 15-year sentences to be served consecutively. Um, was not successful. Not sure if there's going to be additional appeals. You mean concurrently? Sorry, concurrently. Right. The defense I wanted them served concurrently. Yeah, concurrently. Yeah, right. But there, the, the broader conversation that this has sparked is whether or not it's appropriate for someone to write character letters, which is a, a common thing that people do for folks that they know that have done yeah. wrongdoing. Is the issue here that these are famous people um, who got caught and are now offering this apology oh, because I, they were caught and there's a public interest in whether or not they did this, or is, would it not be an issue at all if they were just close friends of someone who did a bad Neighbor, thing brother cousin. who was asked by their family to to make this like, gesture like everyone deserves due process everyone deserves all due consideration for the length of their sentence i, I look people can feel about this whatever way they want they can think this is some kind of betrayal if they want to i mean for my part i would not really begrudge someone for writing such a letter in such a situation even with full knowledge of how bad the conduct was and the conviction. Um, but that's just me. People can feel differently about it. Uh, there is a, there is a, so Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis are not part of the Church of Scientology, but um, there, there is some question about whether that, they might have some affiliation or they might be involved um, given the, the language in the support letter that they wrote. Um, obviously, the, this, the, the Church of Scientology's behavior is very much part of this because Danny Masterson is a high-profile part of it. Um, the accusations uh, were made by uh, women, uh, some of them who were 
in the church at the time. There's obviously a lot of, you know, as people know from watching documentaries about it or reading about it, a lot of, you know, silencing going on in the realm of Scientology. One of the women who initially made the claims apparently flied it with Leah Remini, another actress, you might know her from King of Queens, right, who, left who the very famously left the church and unlike other people who left the church has been very vocal, <laughs> yeah. uh, despite all of the pushback that the church is able to leverage in doing so. So yeah, it's all mixed up with the Scientology stuff. But I just want to get back to the, I mean, the core argument that's made this gone viral on the internet is about whether or not, one, they're genuinely sorry. People say, uh, Mila Kunis saying we support victims is obviously undermined by making this kind of statement. But is there is is there is there any gray area of, I think that this person is guilty. I think that they should have to go to jail for their crimes. I think that the sentence, let's say hypothetically, is longer than is warranted, and therefore I'm going to write this character letter to help to bring it in line with what mm -hmm. fits the punishment, what punishment fits the crime. Is that a problem? Is that in inconsistent with supporting victims? If you know you're only supporting yeah. the victim if you want the person to go to jail for life, regardless of the nature of the underlying crime. That's one kind of conversation. And another is, you know, even if you think it was justified for someone close to the perpetrator of a crime who believes in their guilt and needs to be punished to write a letter of support like this, was it just simply a terrible comms move on the part of two famous people to write such a letter knowing that it would be public? Or perhaps not knowing it was, but that it was going to be public, but they know now. And was it just really terrible advice they got from their media team? Well, I mean, maybe this? it is, but. I mean, we're never gonna like if people, especially if people who are mad about this are on, are on the left or coming from a progressive, which tends to be a lot of the you know believe victims, you know, be me too, be very upset about sexual assault, that kind of thing. Like, we're never going to end mass incarceration for um, if everyone gets like a life sentence for everything. Um, if if there's no without any without allowing. Um, for f additional consideration to maybe lessen that sentence somewhat. If you're gonna like shame that attempt, what, what, like what is the progressive criminal justice movie even well, movement even trying to accomplish? I think the criticism, I have no idea what, seemed like everybody was criticizing it. I don't know what the valence of the criticism were because people on the right tend to just hate celebrities. Well, <laughs> they just don't like Hollywood years, look, people. Look, I'm not, I'm not like, going soft on violent crimes. 30 years seems like a, a long time to me for, for murder, frankly. So I think it would be in other. Sorry, I keep interrupting. I think in other. I think in like other country in progressive, more pr criminally minded progressive countries, it would be considered a log charge for I, murder. I think. I think what people are latching on to is the inconsistency and the hypocrisy. If you really think the guy did a bad thing, it broke my heart that someone I know and love raped women mm. and was convicted of raping multiple women. At the same time, I am uh, against the. Uh, mass incarceration, I think his sentence was longer than what is typically assigned to people in this position. And I do think that it was appropriate for me to write not, not a letter trying to get him out or saying that he wasn't guilty, but a letter which helped the judge sentencing make a more appropriate sentencing decision. But they didn't even like make that kind of a defense in their apology. They simply made these pat statements about how they support victims which seems to be in contradiction with what we know of the nature of the letter that they wrote. So, I mean, maybe it's too much to ask of celebrities to be really wrestling with the t those tough, tougher kind of ethical questions, which I think there's a legitimate divide on. But what it felt like was just like a couple of, one thoughtless action piled onto another thoughtless action in the, in the optics of that particular video where, you and know. The video looks it's, horrible. It's like a video hostage looks, video. Yeah, yeah. Ashton Kutcher, who, if I were to, if I were, I, I tweeted this, like, if I were to anticipate or if I were to guess who was the better actor of the two based on their records, I would have expected Mila Kunis maybe to give the better line read, but she Mila's seemed to be very much reading off a piece of paper, yeah. and his seemed much more natural. They do seem, they seem like hostage videos. It, it was, it was just the whole thing was a bad Well, idea. that's another point, like, stop making, or I, they probably should have just let this blow over without saying yeah. anything. The same, we're talking about it even more because they said something, yes. and what they said sounded Totally insincere. Never give video. Like a news story is yeah. only going to go so far yeah. if there's no video. If if you believe it's a private matter, it. if look, I look, I can see the scenario playing out. I can see Masterson's mom, who's it's not at fault or whoever, yeah. like his family members, saying, "Not only did you work together since you were children, 
Mila Kunis was a literal child on that 70s show, which is a whole other scandal about how she was made to kiss all of these adults on the show. She has this viral clip of her saying that the writers made her, she kissed every man on the set of the show when she was literally underage um, for much of the, that recording of that series. Um, but to say, you've known us for so long, I'm sure they're, they're intimate from a familiar perspective. Ashton and Masterson also went on to have another show that was short-lived because of these accusations that wrapped in 2017. And because of that, I just need people who knew him, and you yeah. know him, to write these character letters. Please, not for him, but for me. I'm the mom. Like, yeah, of I can, course. I, can I don't think that. that's, yeah, I but don't if, think that's inappropriate at all. But if that's a private, if, if you decided to do that, yeah. and that like is about your private relationships, then just let it be. Let it be private. Don't respond to the public. Sure. You're, make, you're keeping it alive, and you're not even addressing the public's core concerns, which are also, I think, legitimate in the context of this video. Do you know what uh, additional That 70s Show co-star uh, Topher Grace said about all this? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, so he was trending over the weekend or because saying nothing. the story used to be that he was kind of a spoil sport or a sourpuss because he was known to not hang out with the rest of the staff, rest of the cast of that show. And now, as there are stories, there was a scandal involving Wil Wilmer Valderrama. There have been a number of There's scandals. There's a scandal involving Wilmer Valderrama? I don't want to. I don't want to get any details of it mm. wrong, so I don't want to go any farther than that. But now, in retrospect, it's looking like he was the smart one. <laughs> um, it was coming out with all of the out of all of this with his nose clean. So, well, the and the the other the last person in that show, Laura Preppen, she was in the Church of Scientology, but um, I believe left it. Um, uh, it's in, it says left in 2016 or cut ties with the church. So anyway, yeah, yeah, just interesting. It, it, I don't want to overstate this nature. It was nothing like what Masterson did. He wasn't accused of anything like that, but there was this oh, other Vildor, question v of Vanderama. dating younger women on oh. the line that, that, that sort of a thing. So, okay. um, yeah, L please do let us know what you think of this and how it should have been handled or just ignored perhaps, uh, by all of the actors, literal actors involved. Uh, stick around, we'll have more rising for you after this.